Are your animations choppy and slow like this? Well today, I will be showing you how to create smooth animations in CapCut PC. To create these smooth animations we are going to be using the Ease In and Ease Out effects. The first thing you're going to do is select your media and then create a keyframe. Make sure that the playhead is where you want the starting keyframe to be. Go to the top right of the screen and select the diamond shape in the corner. Now move your playhead to where you want the animation to end, create another keyframe, and move the media to where you want it to go at the end of the animation. Now we have the basic animation, but it looks choppy and isn't very smooth. We can make it smooth by right-clicking the media and clicking Show Keyframe Animation. There are four different types of keyframe graphs that we can use to edit our animation. The first is Scale. This adjusts how fast the media becomes bigger or smaller. The second is X or X axis. This adjusts how fast the media moves from left to right and vice versa. The third is Y or Y axis. This adjusts how fast the media moves from up to down and vice versa. Finally, there is Rotate which adjusts how fast the media rotates. Depending on what you want to edit in your animation, you will use one of these different keyframe graphs. For this tutorial, we will be using the Y or Y axis keyframe graph since the rocket ship is going from the bottom of the video to the top. Now, click the drop down menu on the Y axis section. We can see the keyframe graphs now, and there are four different options to edit this graph. We can use the linear graph, the auto curve, the free curve, or the graph presets. To edit the graph, select the keyframe on the graph, and now we can choose from the different options. The linear option is the default, and is very choppy, and not smooth at all. The auto curve is an auto-generated curve made by CapCut that is a little smoother, but just by a little bit. The free curve is where you can move the graph to how you like it. You can do this by selecting the blue circle connected to the keyframe and moving it around. The last option is the graph presets, which is what we'll be using. There are three ease in options and three ease out options. The difference between the two is that the ease in effect is slow at the beginning of the animation and gradually gets faster towards the end. The ease out is the opposite as the animation starts off fast and gradually gets slower. I'm going to use the ease in three preset because I want my rocket ship to look like it's taking off. Now when we play the video, it isn't so choppy and is way smoother. Hopefully this video helped you out, and if it did make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.